Hey everybody, it is Collector Joey here. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day today and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Today we are going to be talking about an announcement from Hot Toys. It's going to be of the crosshair from the Bad Batch series. So me from an outsider point of view, because I don't really I don't really watch Bad Batch. I haven't really watched much animated Star Wars, so I'm not that big into it, but like like I said, it's gonna be kind of an outsider's point of view. So I said that in the last video too. But let's just take a look at these pictures. I always like looking at these because they have great detail and all that. So tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. Also, while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. And let's get into the video. Here we have it, everybody. This is Crosshair. It looks great already, even though I don't even know who this character is. This character looks sick. I really do like it. I really like the black and the red. This went for the other, the Echo. It looked like this, not look like this, but it had the same color scheme as well. But this one just looks even more weathered. You have a lot of weathering on the thigh plates I see already. I really do love this gun with a big silencer. That's awesome. He kind of do has the, I guess, like a Pathfinder kind of thing on his helmet. Uh, I, I guess he's like a sharpshooter or something. I'm not sure. But the weathering on this is crazy. We already know that the final product is going to have this kind of weathering on it. So it's good to see. Let's keep going. Now, this is a, you know, your regular base you do get. Man, look how big the rifle is. I really do like that. Oh, I like the, you know, that's pretty cool that they have, he has like a crosshair on his eye. I didn't know that. But I do like the head sculpt. The head sculpt looks really good. The, um, this looks like, you know, real worn leather. That's cool. This thing's just weathered to a T. And I, I think that is great, great, great. Um, I like the, I see the backpack right here. Some more weathering on the gun too. You could tell this dude has been around town. So like I said, that silencer is awesome. You do kind of have this thing poking out. That's, that's cool. I like that. I like how, how they have the, um, him holding the helmet. I like when they do that. They put the head sculpt and he's holding the helmet. Wow, he looks cool in the snow. The snow looks like... I can tell the snow is like a, like a felt kind of material. He looks sick, though. That is awesome. You have his gun right here. Everything's literally weathered. All the way down to his hand. And his helmet. I wonder if we're going to get a toothpick with him. That would be cool. It looks like you would. Let's see if they show. Let's look in the other head sculpt picture if we do get a toothpick with him. Oh, I didn't even notice that earlier. Yeah, you get a toothpick with him. I wonder if they'll show it without the toothpick and see if there's an actual slot to put the toothpick in. Oh, so here's the backpack. Yes, we have weathering on the backpack as well. You do have the cloth material underneath all the armor. It's nice. Just not seeing him without this toothpick. So it looks like if you just want him without the toothpick, you're probably not going to be able to do that without him looking weird. Uh, I guess these are little, these might be the ammo or little grenades. I don't know. I, you know like I said, I didn't watch the video, the, the show. But I, I, I think I like him more with the helmet on, honestly. Look at that. This I, I can tell that this one's going to be very photogenic if you do have a camera. That's a good pose. I like that because it shows off the helmet. He's not just holding the helmet. He's actually, you know, in action and everything. Now, if I zoom into this, does it look like he has a slot? It looks like he does have a slot for the toothpick. Or, I just thought of this, or the toothpick is actually sculpted on to the head sculpt. Which is weird. Which is different. But I don't see why not, you know. Okay, so here is everything we do get with the figure... I guess that is the toothpick is sculpted on to the actual head sculpt, so um, that's that's cool, I guess. So be warned, don't break that off because then it'll look a little weird. Now we do have the sniper. It looks like this is a sniper. Uh, this isn't really an accessory. No accessory. We do have a backpack that is an accessory, and we also do get kind of a thing that you can put on top of the base so it doesn't look so plain. I don't know how many people use that because I don't have a figure that actually ha does that. Uh, and this one, I guess this is the sniper and you can put all different, you can put the bigger silencer on there if that's a silencer, if I'm not mistaken. You have, I, I, I can't really see it so small, but you have some 
thermal detonators, I guess, and you have a pistol right here. I think this might be the magazine to go in here, but I'm not sure. Uh, we do have a f one, two, three, three sets of hands and one extra one. But yeah, guys, um, this figure overall, I'll give it a rating of maybe an 8.5. I like it. I love the weathering. I just don't really know it that well. Am I going to get it? Probably not, but you know, I really do like it. I, I think it, if you do watch the show, I think that it's going to be something you'd really want. And especially if you're getting the other ones, you have to get this. Um, did we expect this figure to come out? Uh, I guess we kind of did, you know, and kind of didn't. But we didn't know when it was going to come out. I knew, I, I think we got teased with it in a few cons, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think we did, and now they finally, you know, have it out and everything. So I think we expected it, but didn't right now. You know, you never expect anything from Hot Toys. But... With that being said, guys, that's all I can really say about this figure. I like it. It's cool. I think it is cool. So tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. Also, while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. I do all these announcement reviews, release reviews, and unboxings. So that's what's usually on my channel. If you like this stuff, subscribe. All right, guys. It's been Collector Joey, and I will see y'all later. Peace. Mm -hmm.